Hey yeah, everyone, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is very to see, uh, very to see is an abnormal enlargement of the uh, veins in the uh, scrotum. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share this video for more information. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.disease.com. And alternatively, you can uh, click the link in the, in the uh, description. Now, first of all, uh, uh, we need to know what is the uh, varicocele. You know, varicocele, uh, you know, the scrotum is the skin covered set that uh, holds your testicles. You know? And uh, it also contains uh, the arteries and the veins that deliver the blood to the reproductive glands. You know. And the vein uh, abnor uh, abnormality in the scrotum may result in a varicocele. And uh, varicocele is uh, an enlargement of the veins uh, within the uh, uh, scrotum. You know. And these veins are called the uh, cantiniform plaques. Now, a varicocele may uh, it only occurs in the uh, scrotum and uh, is very similar to the varicose veins that can occur in the legs. You know. And a varicocele can result in decreased sperm production and the quality of the sperm, uh, which in uh, some cases may lead to the male infertility. You know. And uh, it can also uh, shrink the testicles. You know. And the varicocele uh, are very common and uh, they can be found in 15% of uh, adult male prop and uh, around 20% of uh, adults and males, you know. And uh, uh, they are more common in the uh, males between the age of uh, 15 to 25 years of age, you know. And the varicocele generally uh, form during the puberty and uh, are more commonly found in left side of the uh, scrotum. And the anatomy of the right and the left uh, uh, side of the scrotum is uh, isn't the same, you know. And the varicocele can uh, exit, uh, like they can, they are on the board, uh, like the sides, you know. But uh, it's extremely rare, and uh, not all varicocele affect the sperm production. And now the next thing is, uh, what are the causes of uh, uh, I can also is the enlargement of the veins uh, is common and uh, from the next thing is, uh, what are the causes? You know, you know, uh, the somatic cord holds up each testicle. And uh, uh, the cords uh, contain the veins and arteries and the nerves that support these glands. You know. And uh, in healthy veins inside the scrotum, one uh, one way involves move the blood from the testicles to the scrotum, and then uh, they send it back to the heart. You know. Uh, sometimes the blood does not move uh, through the veins like it should and begins to pool in the vein you know, and uh, causing it to enlarge. And uh, a varicocele develops slowly over the time. You know. And uh, uh, there are no established risk factors for the, uh, developing a varicocele and uh, the exact cause is unclear. And the next thing is uh, the symptoms, you know. You know, you may not have the symptoms, you know, and, uh, which are associated with the varicocele, so the enlarged veins uh, in the scrotum. But uh, you might, some people might experience like a, a lump in the uh, testicles, you know, maybe uh, kind of swelling you know, in and around the scrotum, you know. And uh, 
uh, visibly enlarged or twisted veins uh, in your scrotum, which are often described as uh, uh, looking like a bag of ferns, you know. And uh, a dull and uh, recurring pain in the scrotum. So these are the common signs and symptoms which are associated with them. Uh, uh, symptoms in fact. The next thing is, uh, what are the, uh, how do you, uh, your doctor diagnose you? Know? So, in a standard procedure, your doctor will ask uh, the questions about uh, uh, the problem. You know, he will ask you, uh, when did you start? Is there any pain, any lump in the uh, testicles, you know? And uh, any other problem? And uh, this is known as the history. So your doctor will ask you the questions. Uh, the next will be the physical examination. So your doctor will look around uh, closely, you know, and uh, he will notice any kind of abnormalities there. You know. And uh, a very good seal uh, cannot always be felt or seen when uh, you are lying down, you know. Your doctor um, uh, will most likely examine your testicles while you are standing and uh, lying down too, you know. And your doctor may need uh, uh, to perform a like uh, ultrasound of the testicles, you know, and uh, this helps to measure the spermatic veins and allows your doctor to get the detailed images, you know, and accurate picture and uh, the condition here. And once the medical seal is diagnosed, your doctor will classify it uh, with uh, uh, one of the three clinical grades. Uh, they are labeled grades one, two, three, you know. And according to the uh, size of the lump in your testicles, grade one is the smallest and the grade three is the largest. You know? And the size does not necessarily affect the overall treatment because uh, you may not require treatment. And the treatment options are based uh, on the degree of the discomfort and the uh, infertility issues uh, that you may have. You know. Now, the next thing is uh, what are the uh, treatment options uh, once uh, diagnosed with the uh, uh, varicose you know. Well, as I said, it's not always necessary uh, to have the treatment. You know, if there is no problem, then you may not need the treatment. You know. But uh, you may want to consider treatment if uh, the varicose seal causes pain, you know, or uh, it causes any kind of uh, changes in the size of the uh, testicles, you know, more like testicular atrophy, you know, and uh, causes the infertility. So in that case, you may need treatment. You know. And you may also want to consider treatment if you are thinking about the, uh, like uh, assisted reproductive techniques, you know. So in that case, you may need treatment. And uh, this condition can cause problems with the testicular functioning at some people, you know. And uh, the earlier you start the treatment, the better the results are, you know. Um, and the better chance of improving the sperm production and quality, you know. And now, like uh, wearing a trite underwear, uh, a, a joke strap can sometimes provide you with uh, support that uh, alleviates pain or discomfort, you know. And the additional treatments such as uh, uh, varicose rectum, you know, and uh, varicose like uh, immobilization, you know, that might be the treatment options, uh, and your uh, might be necessary sometimes if uh, uh, to stop and uh, this problem to get worse, you know. You know, uh, varicose rectum uh, uh, is a, a day surgery, you know. And that's done in the hospital, you know, and the uh, urologist will go through your abdomen to like uh, for the pelvis and the clamp part try of the those uh, abnormal veins, you know. And the blood can then uh, flow around and the abnormal veins to uh, the normal ones, you know. And uh, you need to talk to your doctor about how to prepare for the surgery you know, and able to be tidy with all these processes. The next procedure is the varicose seal embolization. You know. Now, it's a less invasive and uh, 
which is extremely procedural as well. And this small capital is inserted into the groin or uh, maybe uh, the neck vein, you know. And a coil is then placed into the capital and uh, into the very procedure. You know? And this blocks the blood from getting to the those abnormal veins, you know. So it blocks there, you know. So these are the treatment options. Sometimes no treatment and uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, varicocelectomy and uh, varicocele embolization. You know? So these are the uh, three treatment options. In fact, two treatment options. Uh, one is uh, you don't need any treatment. And now the last thing is uh, uh, living with uh, uh, varicocele. You know? you know, infertility is a common complication of the varicocele, and uh, we need to talk to your doctor if you have any uh, kind of uh, infertility issues. You know? And uh, Surgery is uh, necessary if the varicocele is causing the pain. So in that case, uh, it is necessary. But if you don't have any problem, you don't have any infertility issues, you may not have treatment. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, then the news on the condition, and you can visit our website, www.com, and uh, this website, and uh, you can click the link in the description area to visit to this website. And uh, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you. Goodbye.